What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and right now we're going to be talking about how you can get any 96 overall Genki Force player for free in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. We're going to go ahead and break everything down and it's a lot of different methods that you can use. The number one thing that you're going to have to understand though, it's a different currency that's been added to the game. So we're going to break that down as well. I'm going to show you the set version. I'm going to also explain to you guys what's going on in the store. So that way everything is, you know, pretty much covered. There are also different versions of the free cards that you get from the challenges. So let's start there so you guys can understand what's going on. Because I know that you know money spent players are going to be all over me if I don't address it. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. What's going to happen in this, right? In order to get into this, you're going to have to get that Jamal Williams into your lineup in order for these uh, uh, these actual challenges to be unlocked. As you go through them, you're going to get, you know, players that are 90 overall that boost your team in different, you know, areas. Now, these are all made up and fictional characters from anime. So if you're into anime, you're going to like the pictures and stuff like that. But these are all 90 overalls that are free. Uh, absolutely 100% that you can add into your squad to get separate boosts. I have not done the challenges yet, but I will be doing those challenges. Okay, very, very soon. So I'm just letting you guys know I will be doing those challenges. So feel free to do that if you would like. We will see which ones are the best possible ones to use to the boost, uh, you know, to get the boost and all that stuff. If you want to know the actual boost that the players get, it's very, very simple to do that. You would go over to the catalog. Okay, you would select the program, uh, make the program be the uh, the Genki Force, and uh, you will be able to see by clicking on the 90 overalls that are available there what they actually give. The only one that I probably will utilize will be this one right here. Okay, um, I know he only adds like a stupid like pass block or something, uh, pass block footwork, but realistically the other cards don't really do much so it's not that big of a deal so we probably will add this guy and uh, see what goes on with it as far as the free players from the 90 just to get the boost because I think I have a spot for that on my 70 of 70 uh, Super Bowl team all right so that's the 90s all right the next thing is the house rules if you win 125 games with tug of war you're gonna get enough of the currency that's needed to redeem in store for one of the free 96s, okay? You get about 15, right now we won 10 games, so we're about 150, all right? Inside of the store, uh, when you go to Marketplace, you go over to the store right here, you're gonna go over to the star, the star offers, and you could redeem this once. It is a fantasy champion with all of the 96 overalls that are involved in the game right now, so you could easily go ahead and do that. Um, and it's gonna be two parts, I believe. So you can save your stars and wait, or you can go ahead and redeem it now for any of the 96s that I'm gonna show you uh, right now. So that is 100% just playing the mode, gaining your 15 stars per game, and then redeeming it inside there. As far as the field pass goes, because I know you guys are gonna to wanna to know what's happening with the field pass, in the Genki Force uh, field pass, right, the objective's very, very simplistic, okay? Rush for yards, but you gotta make sure you have two Genki players in your lineup. Challenges, very self-explanatory. The sets, we gotta complete the sets, you know, whatever. House rules, we've only done 10. Um, head to head, we haven't done any of those yet. And then you gotta spend 150 stars in the store to get the rest of those um, things there. Now, as far as everything else goes, uh, with the way that it's set up, with the rewards, right? You do get something free here. Unfortunately, it's only a 93 overall and it's a BND, so it absolutely sucks. I thought they would give us another opportunity to get another BND 96, but unfortunately in the field pass, it is only a 93, okay? So if you guys like a 93 of any of the cards that you're gonna see, go ahead and grab it. If not, go after this for the XP specifically. It also has the power-up tokens for Jamal Williams throughout this, and um, you can get some elevation tokens. All right, so these elevation pass, the low elite, and then you, there are differences, okay? So as you go through, I think you only get one that's high in the field pass, and then EA Sports wants you to probably wait until next week or whatever to get the rest of the stuff um, within the field pass itself. And uh, you could probably use that in the 96 overall player cards to upgrade their elevation. Now, if you ask me, I think it's all like, you know, it, it, it's placebo. Like it's not really gonna be doing anything to the cards as far as the elevation. I do believe that the lighted up players are a lot better, but that's my opinion. All right, so the house rules will get you those stars for one way to get a free 96. The next way is inside the set, which we often utilize, all right? A lot of you guys have made a lot of coins watching my videos because you understand what the process is, all right? Now, 
Let's get to the 96 overalls. I want to be very, very clear. This is any 93 overall. So you do not need to do this in order to get, you know, like as far as like the AKA, it's not specific to the cards that you need. So you don't have to dabble with this to make the 93s here. Like for instance, you don't need to make 89 overall Genki Force players. You can go make your 93 overalls other places. Now, your next question is gonna be where are the 93 overalls and how would you go about doing it? That's good that you asked that. One of the sets is right here with the honors and it requires, okay, 90s, all right? Any 90 to 91, all right? The next way to do it is to kind of gamble a little bit inside of the core elite set. And, you know, a lot of you guys really like this set. I don't, I'm not really a fan of it too much because what happens is if you use the four 90s instead of just using the five, the gamble could not, like in some cases will not pay off. So to use the extra one that guarantees the 93, I would lean towards that. That's what I would do. Those are my two favorite sets right now that you know are involved with everything that's going on. If you guys have any other suggestions about the other cards, uh, you know the other sets that you may find valuable that you can utilize, that's fine. All right, just let me know what it is, and uh, you could pretty much go from there. So making the 90s, right? It's very, very easy. What you're gonna do is use your lower level cards and you're gonna go over to the program that is most feared, okay? And you're gonna make, not the Arcana, you're gonna make the regular most feared champions. And that requires 87s and 88s, or any 87 or whatever it is, okay? That's what you have to do. You make those, you turn those 90s into the 93s, all right? It doesn't matter what this is, pick any one of them, but that's how you will make the 90s. If you gamble inside the core set, all right, the core set will probably give you 91s also, which I don't know if you want to take that situation and then use those 91s in other sets to make other type of cards with this set right here, because it's always going to be one less with the way that they do it. That is up to you. Also, they're only 88s as, as opposed to the 87s that you can use with the most feared. So it's one, uh, you know, one overall higher and then you're getting probably something that won't be eligible for the set. So I just wanna make sure you guys understand the differences between it. It's always a gamble when you go with the core. So for me, when I go over to um, you know Most Feared and I take a look at like the 90s and the requirements for it, I know it's any 87, right, or 88, but I know what I'm getting. I know I'm getting specifically a 90 that I can then turn into what I want it to be. Okay, which are the 93s. So that's the process that you would go through. And obviously, um, you would use the programs prior to this to gain, like to get 90s or 87s or 88s, whatever. And what I mean by that is you can look through all of these core sets and start from scratch to get it up to that amount. I show you guys this all the time, and most of you guys that get it, you become millionaires within a week. Because if you utilize all the garbage that EA Sports gives you, you can turn it into these higher level cards. And I have how many items right now? I think I'm almost at 1,700 items. So I gotta start getting rid of them. Because with the way that it's set up, yeah, I'm at 1669, so I have to start getting rid of items. So that's why I'm showing this to you guys now, because I'm gonna be grinding it out and making those free players. So now that you've seen it, let's go ahead and start making 93s just to kind of let you guys get a feel for it. Um, and see what happens with it. So why is it stuck on corset like that and it won't move? All right, let's back out of this because that was kind of weird. I was trying to like refresh it and it wouldn't refresh. All right, there it goes. So we're going to use this and we're going to be using 90 to 91s. You can see there it's all 90s. So you're going to do this five times, right? Because it's any 93 and then you'll be good to go. You will ultimately get your free player by grinding through. And like I said, it is very, very tedious the way that it is that you have to do all of it, but if you guys understand the process, you don't really wanna be spending money on this game because if you keep spending money like that, it starts to get more and more disgusting. So I just wanted to give you guys an example of how you make the 90s, what you do with them. Once you have them all set, you easily, uh, you know, you just go over to the Genki Force and then you start adding them into the set and you make the player. Again, there is no need to focus in on these cards, you know, specifically because it doesn't make any sense to do so. Uh, at this time, I would just go ahead Make the 93s the way I just showed you. Get all of them here. If you guys want to know the price ranges, each one, a 93, you can kind of get them. You know, the prices vary, but if sniping them for 100K is probably around where I would say a 93 would be the most uh, suitable right now. 
but you have to go through the catalog and see what's available. Uh, probably try to dabble a little bit with zero chill cards to kind of see what people are willing to, you know, let these cards go for. But around 100k, if you were looking to, you know, play around with it a little bit, you'll easily get snipes. Uh, depending on when you're looking through the actual catalog. So go ahead and take your time doing it. Um, let me know what you guys find. If you have anything you want to add to the video, go ahead and do that. If you are already a member of the channel and you want to let me know what's going on, go ahead and do that as well. Other than that, you guys have a blessed day. You stay well, and I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.